Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I want to talk about some different options for, um, you know, paper, because I get asked this a lot, um, what type of paper is best for um, painting on? And in my videos, I even talk about what kind of paper I use and have and kind of some of the advantages or disadvantages of that paper. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of brands, um, but also different types of um, different types of papers within those brands. And so we're going to kind of cover that today and, you know, what my overall recommendation is uh, for, uh, for painting. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, now, I'm going to start with this one here. This is a Canton watercolor and the weight on the paper. So basically the, the thickness, the weight of it. Um, is 140, so I'm going to show that here. Um, now, the watercolor paper has a very soft, um, it has a very soft texture surface. And you can see I have some paint on the edge there because sometimes I get a little out of hand. Um, but anyway, we've got a soft uh, texture, so it's very f uh, fine, very soft. Wow, that, let me see if I can kind of get rid of some of that shadow. Probably not. Let's lift that up. Maybe lift that one up. There we go. It's a little darker, but now you can kind of see um, this thin, really soft texture. Okay, so this is a Canson, and that's, again, watercolor paper. I don't really recommend it for acrylic or gloss enamel. Um, it always curls on me, so it, it'll, it'll kind of curl up while I'm painting. Um, so it's very hard to paint on with very wet paint, uh, even kind of watered down acrylic or using a lot of acrylic on there, um, it, it starts to kind of bunch up. So uh, it's not ideal. Uh, in a lot of my videos, you'll see that I tend to use watercolor paper only because I have a lot of it. <laughs> when I started, I bought a bunch of watercolor paper, not knowing the difference between them and um, the rest is history. So I have a lot of it and that's why I tend to use it so often. And I've kind of found a way around it. So I will paint my painting and then if it curls a little bit, once it's fully dry, you know, it's been dry for a couple of days, um, then I can usually kind of put it under a flat surface, like cardboard or something, and um, you know, maybe some uh, archival paper. So I can put something over it and flatten it and then it flattens it out and then it's just fine after that. But uh, working with it can be a challenge. So uh, that is watercolor paper. Automatically, I don't recommend it for acrylic or gloss enamel. Um, so next, let's move into uh, mixed media paper. So mixed media um, is okay. Um, if you had to kind of go with a paper that wasn't the ones that I'm gonna recommend for you, um, it can work. And you can see that this one doesn't really have a texture. It's actually very flat. And the weight on this particular um, Strathmore one is 184. So automatically it's a heavier, like sturdier, thicker paper than the Canson watercolor. And so this Strathmore, I actually don't have too many issues with. Um, it does kind of, it can um, shrivel up a little bit while using it, but it's a lot more durable. And I, I love the feel of the soft texture. Um, I like that it's it's just very flat, so it doesn't absorb as much uh, moisture. And you can kind of get better coverage with the painting if you're just trying to do like a flat painting uh, because it doesn't have little ridges in it. So it's very smooth. Um, I do like the mixed media. It's not my favorite, um, but I prefer it over the watercolor paper. So that's kind of my second recommendation. And again, it's a little thicker, at least the Strathmore is. Um, I believe the Canson, uh, mixed media paper is actually thinner than the Strathmore. I have a, I took a picture of it. I'll put the picture up on screen. And I believe that that was the case that the uh, Canson mixed media paper was actually a little thinner. The weight wasn't as, as heavy. So um, what's basically you want a heavier paper if you're trying to put a lot of paint on there because if it's heavier paper, it's not going to like, uh, it's not going to curl up as much. and you know, you can kind of keep it flat as you paint. Um, it also helps with the distribution. So uh, next, let's talk about the acrylic paper since it's right next to it. I'm going to move that up here. Stay. Okay. 
So let's talk about the, uh, the acrylic paper next. So right off the bat, you can see the weight on the acrylic paper is two, oh, sorry guys, uh, 246. So it's definitely much heavier um, than any of the other papers. Uh, it's actually the, the heaviest of all of them. And I really, really like the acrylic paper. So if I was going to choose a paper, there's a reason why acrylic paper is great for painting acrylic or even gloss enamel. Uh, you can see the weave in it. So it's, it's very similar to canvas. It has uh, the little weaves in it. Um, and it's just very thick, very durable. You can kind of see uh, the thickness there. So it's almost like cardboard or cardstock. Um, so this is a very heavy duty paper. I recommend this. The only problem with, with this for me is just I can't get it locally um, any bigger than this size. So 12 by 12s. Um, so it's, I mean, it's fine for small square paintings, which is cool. Um, but if I want to do bigger paintings, this is not available uh, cl close by me. So I'd have to order it online, which isn't a huge deal. I just like supporting um, local businesses. So uh, acrylic paper I would recommend. And then mixed media, if, if not that. Now next, we're going to move into uh, Canva paper. And so Canva paper is thinner than uh, the mixed media or the acrylic. So I will say that's a little bit of a downside just because it's not as thick, um, but it does have the weave on it. So it's got the same weave on it and um, it just holds the acrylic and the oil well. So it doesn't absorb as much. So I don't know um, how they coat this. It even says um, canvas texture primed and ready to use. So I'm assuming that there's some kind of gesso type material on top of it. Um, to kind of help keep that paint from soaking in. Um, so I have, I do like it. Um, I do like using it. And since I can't get the acrylic paper uh, any bigger close to, close to me, I can get this Canton Canva paper, um, which is kind of a close second. Um, so I would actually recommend this one for uh, people who can't get like large pads of acrylic paper. Um, or if maybe, you know, you can canvas it, you know, the Canva paper is cheaper. If Canson is cheaper, then go with that. So I, I do like it. I don't like that it's not as thick as acrylic, so it doesn't feel as sturdy. Um, but so far, I, I haven't had as many issues with this as I have, like, watercolor paper. So um, I do like it. I would recommend it. But again, a lot of it comes down to your painting style and the materials you're using. So, um, you know, if the painting materials you're using are very heavy, um, then that could change your experience with any of these, or if it's lighter. Uh, it also depends on how much paint you're actually putting on there, things of that nature. So, you know, it's going to come down to preference and, and really testing. But so far, my recommendation for paper is acrylic paper or uh, the Canva paper and the mixed media if, if you don't have either of those. Uh, lastly, let's talk about canvas pad. So this is not paper at all. Um, and the reason I'm kind of even including it is because there's not really anything else to um, compare it to because essentially what a canvas pad is, is canvas. So this is sheets of canvas. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. And it doesn't really say the weight on it because it's, it's not technically paper. So I don't think they have to grade the weight. Um, but I'm going to show you guys so you can kind of see, let's see if I can get some light on it. There we go. You can see that it is canvas. Um, it does have the canvas weave, um, and it does have kind of the, the gesso texture. Um, and even if you kind of flip it over to the back, you can see the difference in the color because it's ungessoed on the other side. So ungessoed, gessoed, ungessoed, gessoed. Uh, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, the canvas paper actually, uh, or canvas pad, sorry. Uh, the sheets of canvas I actually do like, um, especially because it, it is canvas. So, I mean, ideally canvas is what you would want to use. And, um, you know, if you don't want to use canvas pads, or you don't want to put it on stretch canvas because maybe you're doing small paintings um, and you want to frame them. It's, it's perfect. Um, so the canvas pads I, I actually do like um, and I do use them. They're very heavy, um, heavy weight, I should say. And uh, they just have a good texture. Um, I don't really have too many issues with them kind of bunching up because the canvas absorbs that moisture a little bit. Um, so ultimately, um, I'm a big fan of the, the canvas pad. 
Again, it's just not really anything else to compare it to. So I figured if you were looking for paper options, um, that would be also a good thing to consider. So um, I would recommend using that if you can get it. If not, if you're going to use paper, um, ultimately I'm going to recommend either Canva paper or acrylic and then mixed media. If you don't have either of those, do not use watercolor paper, okay? Again, please learn from my mistake. And again, I only have it because I bought a bunch of it. So. Uh, that's ultimately it for, for this video, guys. I hope that this kind of breakdown really helps um, with understanding what you're, you know, what what to use or what to look for when you're going to paint. Um, and they say right on them, you know, what they're good for. So uh, if you're using oil-based paints or acrylic-based paints, they'll say on the paper what they're good for. Like acrylic paper is good for acrylics. Uh, Canva paper is primed, so I believe you can use either one. Um, Mixed media, I think, is the same thing, and the same thing with the canvas pad. Um, so, yeah, that ultimately, that's it. Hopefully that helps, and um, don't really have anything else today. So I will see you guys in the next painting video. Take care, God bless, and see you then. Bye, guys.